Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we will be talking about one of the issues that's been going on in the anime community for quite a bit of time and that is uh, these translators who seem to think that their job is to change the artwork that they have been hired to translate properly and uh, it's starting to come back to bite them. I got some other news coming up uh, that I need to look into about uh, Japan actually getting kind of uh, they're, they're kind of starting to see a bit of this because I know this has been an issue over here for a while and we've been talking about it for a while, but it seems like some Japanese publications are starting to pick up on the fact that a lot of these American translators are taking their works, bringing them over here and literally just changing them into whatever they want them to be instead of translating them properly. And uh, they don't seem to be too happy about it. I know this has been something that's been annoying me for a while. One of the most infamous ones is that clip from Dragon Maid, which you'll see in this video that I'm going to be reacting to right now. But um, it's kind of it's kind of a big deal. I'll, I'll give you guys more of my opinion as we go on. But let's check out this video real quick. You know, uh, localization gift keeps on giving. It's blowing up in Japan now. Good. Uh -oh. So Funimation has come under. OK, so here's the context right here. Uh, Lukoa from um, from Dragon Maid. Uh, one of her lines was, everyone was always saying something to me, so I tried toning down the exposure. How was it? And this is a, this is a response to when um, one of the characters asked Lukua what, why she changed her clothes. Because she usually dresses pretty provocatively, uh, but she was, you know, kind of conservatively dressed. And it shocked uh, um, the main character, or well, one of the main characters. So she asked, like, hey, why did you change? And they changed this statement to, oh, those pesky patriarchal social demands or societal demands were getting on my nerves, so I changed clothes. Which, these two things mean two completely different things. This one is saying, everyone just kept talking to me, so, you know, I decided to change clothes so I would stop getting so much attention. And that was it. That was the context. Just people kept talking to me. So I changed clothes so that way people would leave me alone. But this one, this statement literally changes that to, oh, I got tired of the sexist societal standards that are placed on me. So I changed the clothes that I wear now because I don't like to do that anymore. Which is two completely different things. Because in the next episodes that followed, she literally, if I remember correctly, she just started dressing the way she used to before. She just changed clothes for this one scenario because she didn't want to be bothered in this one moment. She still enjoys dressing how she always has. So she just completely changed the context and just, you know, added this, this whole thing. But she has some reactions. This lady, the lady who is responsible for this, she's been going ham on Twitter. You guys will see that here call it criticism oh, for yeah. how they choose to adapt their scripts oh, for like a couple of shows. Hate. Yeah, got it. To the criticism, really like, I have a vagina, deal with it. I'm a funny woman. We are all talented, funny, powerful women. Deal with it. I'm sorry you're not getting laid. It's not about you. Move on. What a response. I'm a woman. I'm a funny woman and I'm powerful. I don't know, man. The funniest people in the world go around telling people exactly how funny they are because they have to, right? Think about all the funny people you know and how, how many times they have to convince you that they're funny. Think about all the powerful and strong people you know. How many of them have to convince you? How many of them have to verbally tell you how strong they are? It's not, not typically something somebody would say. Powerful people are powerful. They don't have to say it. Funny people are funny. They don't have to say it. So, I mean, I don't know. Just feels like you're weak and unfunny considering your declarations. And I love the whole, I have a vagina, so get over it. Like, really? But everybody else is sexist though. Everybody else is sexist. But when you're faced with criticism, um, I have a vagina, get over it. Sorry you aren't getting laid. What does that have to do with anything? Now, mind you, this chick is supposed to be a feminist. And this is something that's been going on with feminism for a long time. The term incel was literally created to make fun of dudes who don't have sex. By the way, according to feminism, marking a man's worth based on how much sex he has with women 
is toxic masculinity. That's toxic masculinity. That's bad. You're never supposed to do that. You shouldn't measure a man's worth on how much vagina he's getting. That's a sexist thing, and we need to kill that in society. And they use it all the time. It's one of their favorite terms. Because apparently now, all of a sudden, the fact that you aren't having sex with women is a mark on your character, specifically. This shit's hilarious. Is she's doubling down? It's crazy. Just admit you're wrong. Let me read what she says. I didn't change the context. Just acknowledging you're mad about the word patriarchy instead of denying would help you be less dishonest. That's the exact problem. You're super. I didn't change the context. She literally changed the context, and now she's moving the goalposts by saying, oh, you just don't like the word patriarchy, and that's why you're mad. But the fact that the word patriarchy exists in the sentence at all, the fact that you translated that word into into your lo into the localization is the problem. That is the problem. Because she wasn't saying anything about patriarchy. Superimposing your own real world. So like whenever you use modern terms that are referring to modern problems in an anime that's a fantasy world, this is a problem. Sounds like exactly. you have to deal with the fact that I have a vagina. Yeah, once again, bringing up her vagina in a conversation where nobody else brought it up. Baiju, like I said, these people are not sexist. They're not sexist. These are anti-sexist people. They are, they are feminists fighting against sexism. Yet every time she takes an ounce of criticism, she automatically points at her vagina and says, don't you see this? You can't criticize me. I have this. Yeah. I'm sorry, but like this strat got nerfed. I'm sorry, but like this, this strat got nerfed. The same as it did in 2020. Nobody thinks this. Nobody cares. Just shut the fuck up. You're part of a hate mob with literal Nazis. You probably should deal with that. Please see. Uh, another topic again. This is another tactic that they use. Literally everybody who disagrees with me is a Nazi. And, and, and the word basically means nothing now. Like you can't. You call people Nazis. It means absolutely nothing now. That word is thrown around so crazily, like it's it's used so much. And it's just like that person is a Nazi. Okay, what did they do? They disagreed with me. They don't have viewpoints that I have. Okay, well, what are those viewpoints? I'm not really sure. All I know is they don't agree with me. So they're Nazis. You know, the people who mass genocided and who kill people on site with no remorse, no problem at all. Yes. That is the equivalent now to disagreeing with me. See <laughs> the Nazis in this thread. Again, this strat got nerfed. They've done this for, for many years, and I think people are finally just getting tired of it. What does the word Nazi mean nowadays? Nazi is whenever you disagree with her. Like, not see her point of view. It's like, ah. Nazi isn't like the German Nazis. It's just, you're not seeing her point of view. Oh, dude, I'm using that. <laughs> I'm using that from now on. That actually makes a lot of sense. I never even thought about it. Like, <laughs> yeah, and actually, if you if you genuinely, if you really think about this that way and think about the type of people who use the word Nazi, at the end of the day, this is exactly what it boils down to. You don't see things the way that I see it. You're not seeing things by my point of view. Therefore, you're a Nazi. You're you're the you're one of the worst type of human beings that could ever exist because you verbally said something that I disagree with. It's an abbreviation. You don't speak Japanese? Is that supposed to be a gotcha? Most of the script adapters don't speak Japanese. And now? Good. Uh -oh. it, like... <laughs> Most of the script adapters don't speak Japanese. I mean, I don't feel like they have to. Like I don't think it's a hundred percent requirement. But I mean, I, I feel like it would help considering your job is literally to translate things into that language. If you're just going to fucking use Google, if you're just going to use like Google Translate or something, then anybody can fucking do that job. Like, why are you important? Oh, oh, I remember because you have a vagina. Gotcha.